Conjoined twins are rare. Twins connected at the heart, even more rare, and at the highest risk of dying. But it is what makes tonight's story so extraordinary. Doctors at the U of M pulling off a groundbreaking surgery to separate two babies in the only chance they had to survive. Care 11's Lindsay Sievert shows us exactly what it took to make it happen. While we meet the family that couldn't be more thankful, it did. When Paris Bryant, where are you going? And Ernesto Martinez there. from Cass Lake, Minnesota, learned their family of little boys was about to pick up speed. It's gonna be hectic, that's for sure. Whoa! <laughs> they did what they knew. Let me guess. They held on tight. I love you. No matter what, I wanted to try and give them life and do whatever I had to do to give them that chance. Pregnant with twins, Paris finally had the baby girl she dreamed of. But during an early ultrasound, the nurse kind of like got frantic and ran out of the room. The biggest surprise was yet to come. They're conjoined. Joined from chest to abdomen, the girl's hearts were also linked with another complication. We informed them that, number one, that we could lose one or both of the twins. Doctors at the University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital discovered one of the twins struggled with a severe congenital heart defect. We were gonna do everything within our power to uh, treat them. Hey, pretty girl. It's how a mother came to understand mm -hmm. the power of her love. Hi. When on a February afternoon, mm. Paisley and Paislin entered the world together. It was uh, an extraordinary experience uh, to see these girls come out and uh, what was amazing too was they clearly already had a relationship with each other where they reach out and touch each other. The girls born six weeks premature could even hold each other's pacifiers in a constant hug. It was a true joy to see. Only knowing life heart to heart, their bond grew as surgeons prepped for separation. Before doctors could even begin here at the operating table, they simulated the surgery several times where they realized they needed to do something that had never been done before to see the two girls in a third dimension. We had to put on the 3D glasses and we got to walk into the heart. <laughs> Amazing. It was absolutely incredible. At the U of M Medical Devices Center. It is science fiction. Yeah. Doctors could see the duo suspended in 3D. That felt like seeing the future. It was totally. an amazing experience to go over and see in three dimensions something that we'd had to construct in three dimensions in our, in our heads only up until that time. With this technology only available at a few places in the world. Start capturing. The team used a 3D scanner and printer. And this was one of the scans. To create a model of their hearts. And it kind of clicked, like that's, that's what the diagnosis is. And there's this little piece right here. There was a tiny, tiny one millimeter bridge that actually connected these two babies' hearts. The delicate discovery changed how they'd approach a surgical incision and brought another revelation. Paisley acted as a heart and dialysis machine for her sister. It was uh, really something to see. With one heart driving the other, a life-saving duet kept Paislin alive. Absolutely. Especially towards the end. A feat she couldn't keep up much longer. It was the most terrifying, terrifying journey ever. It was, Seeing them yeah. leave the room, that's that's what scared the crap out of me because I didn't know if I'd be... Seeing them again. Yeah, or just seeing one of them. Now, at three months old, separation would be their only chance of survival. It's probably the scariest thing in my life right there. We are doing a separation of conjoined twins. On separation day, okay. more than 40 people filled the operating room. Red hats and blue hats, so we knew we could just look up and see who was on which team, about who belonged to which baby. Pink and blue nail polish helped identify each girl. Months of planning down to the detail. To be honest with you, it was flawless. Surgeons first separated the chest and fused livers. It was um, one of the greatest moments of my surgical career. It continues to move me. And pediatric heart surgeon, Dr. Anthony Izaki, will never forget that final incision when he severed their intertwined hearts. I still think about that incredible trust that parents have in us when they hand over their babies to us. The moment that Dr. Izaki clamped that connection, all of a sudden their hearts started beating separately. And to, to I'm, I have goosebumps thinking about it. People were just 
on top of the world because we had done something really, really amazing. Oh, why hello, good morning. Almost two months later, the girls are now separate in recovery. And then I just keep it by her bedside so that she could see sister. Paisley is still adapting to a new life outside her pair. She breathes too fast, like she's still trying to work for another body. Down the hall, Paislin underwent surgery to fix an artery so and still faces many hurdles ahead. Um, it made me appreciate my kids' life even more, you know? Yeah, Knowing definitely. Knowing that we could have lost one of them. Now is just like every moment counts. Mm -hmm. Why the family holds tighter still mm -hmm. to dreams for the lives that begin in unison to those twin hearts. Don't cry, sis. With a connection that will forever be one mm -hmm. of a kind. Can I open your eyes? In Minneapolis, Lindsay Sievert, yeah. CARE 11 News. Mm -hmm. What an amazing story. There's a long way to go, too. We're told the twins could stay at the hospital another four to five months.